Hello, my name is Romeo and I am a pharmacist here at UPMC Hammond. Today, I'd like to go over the process of ordering TPA for patients who may have had a stroke, as well as the administration of the bolus and the maintenance dose all through the Alaris pump. Okay, so when, the doc, when a patient comes in and the doctor feels that the patient may have had a stroke, they will call the pharmacy and ask to speak to a pharmacist. At that point, they will give us the patient's name, their weight, and ideally the medical record number, but that part isn't necessary. We really need the patient's name and their weight. So for our example, we're going to use a 150 pound patient. Once we know that weight, then the pharmacist will take this chart and they will go to the 150 pound mark and find out the kilograms. And on this chart, we can see that the 150 pound patient has a 68.2 kilo weight. A total dose of TPA should be 61.4 milligrams. Once the pharmacist knows that, then they can go ahead and yell back and have a technician reconstitute 100 milligrams of TPA because they come in two 50 milligram vials. While the, while the TPA is being reconstituted, and that takes about a minute, the pharmacist then would continue to generate the labels that we're going to need to label our products so that we can run it to the emergency room. Once the pharmacist has everything entered, they will have a label that generates and says Alteplase, 61.4 milligrams, that's the total amount that's going to be in the bag. They will have the concentration. It's always a one milligram per ml concentration. And the patient's weight that we used for the calculations, which in this case was 68.2 kilos. The volume to be infused, that's the total amount of volume that the pump has to infuse. So since we're doing 61.4 mi milligrams and we know it's a one milligram per ml concentration, the total volume will be 61.4 mls that will be in our final bag right here. The bolus dose, which is 6.1 milligrams, and again that is on our chart, and then the remaining dose that will be infused over an hour is 55.3 milligrams. So once we have this all done and the technician has labeled everything, you should have a total bag that has everything in it as well as our flush bag. The flush bag actually runs over at the 55.3 mLs an hour, uh, the same rate that the maintenance, that the remaining dose after the bolus was given, runs in over that hour. All right, now that we have everything uh, prepared and ready, we would run up to the emergency room, and ideally, at the same time that the doctor had called the pharmacy, they should have let the nurse know that we have a TP, we have a suspected stroke patient and we're going to use TPA. At that point the nurse should grab a pump and start the process of setting up the pump. For our purposes here I'm just going to go go through and set up the pump as well. Uh, you can see I've already spiked the bag. Uh, this is just dextrose. To uh, attach the IV tubing and fed it through the Alaris pump. Now I'm going to go through and show you how to program the pump so that you can see the whole process, how the pump does the bolus as well as the maintenance dose. So at this point then we would turn on the pump where the pump would be ready. Ideally the pump would be ready and the patient's information is all set up uh, to run the TPA as soon as pharmacy brings it up. So in this case we're going to wait for the pump to turn on. I'm going to hit no uh, so I don't have to enter all the patient's information. It is the adult critical care library that we want. So I will hit yes to that. I will select our channel. And then I will hit the guardrail drugs. And then I need to page down and find the Alteplase, which is set up as a therapy. We've already identified that our patient is less than 100 kilos, so I'm going to pick the stroke less than 100 kilo therapy. Right here on this screen it says uh, milligrams per ml, so it's blank because each patient gets a different dose. It's still one milligram per ml concentration. 
I'm going to say yes, that that is how our setup is supposed to be. I'm going to confirm this message here that says this drug may cause bleeding. Okay, so now at this point, we need to put the drug amount. Now this is the total amount that we added into the bag. So this is 61.4 milligrams that's in this bag. And that's the total identified for this patient. 61.4 milligrams. The diluent volume is the total uh, to make one milligram per ml uh, concentration. So it's 61.4 mLs. So the, the diluent volume is 61.4 mLs. The patient's weight, again, we identified it as 68.2 kilos, 2 kilograms. Once we have these three fields filled out, we basically have everything set up now that we need. And we'll hit the next. There is the volume to be infused. Now, this is the total amount of liquid that's in this bag. So it's 61.4 mLs. And then down here on this bottom screen, you see the bolus feature. So because we want to give the bolus over a minute, we hit bolus. And you'll see the pump will actually calculate here the 6.1 milligrams of bolus to be given. Now all we have to do is hit start. I'm going to make sure that our pump is all set here, and I'm going to hit start. All right, now you can see that the pump here on this channel is actually pumping at 368 mLs an hour. We're going to actually videotape this whole process so you can see the, the switch. And you'll see over here that the bolus dose remaining is 4.63 mLs. Now, this will take about a minute and then you'll actually see that the pump will then switch over to give the maintenance dose. So we're down to 3.13 mLs left. Uh, here in about a minute, we'll see the whole process switch over. And the beauty of this is you no longer have to worry about one, the bolus being given too fast, as well as the pump itself takes care of everything. All the nurse has to do is basically answer those three questions there you saw before, the four, four questions, the volume to be infused as well. And now you see that the pump automatically switched over to the maintenance rate of 55.2 mLs, and then that will go over an hour. Now I'm going to pause it here. All right, so after the maintenance bag runs in, the nurse will then you know, pause the pump, she'll take the tubing off, she will spike the bolus bag, which has the maintenance rate of 55.3 mLs for this example. She will then spike it with this tubing to then flush the remaining TPA through the, through the pump and into the patient. At that point then, the TPA therapy is complete, the patient has gotten the full dose and uh, you know, the, then we would proceed with the rest of the treatment uh, for our patient. Thank you very much for uh, letting me demonstrate this. You have a nice day.